people have always been interested in discovering the meaning of life and our purpose for existing. We dissect life existential questions using various metaphors. People frequently compare life to a game. We find this thought intriguing because we enjoy thinking of life as a competition in which we must outperform others. When we succeed, we believe that we have won the game of life. Exists only as a game. Are there any rules? If so, how can we improve our game? I am going to demonstrate to you how much life is like a game. Life may be much more joyful and fun if you view it this way. So please be patient with me while I explain. Set aside your preconceived notions and give this novel idea some thought. You entered this planet, experienced childhood, adolescence, and eventually old age and death. You will come across a plethora of difficulties and hurdles during these stages. It's possible to lose and fail. Additionally, you might win repeatedly. You might make a difference, reach your goals, and realize your dreams. You might laugh, you might love, and you might lead a happy life. You are a participant in the game of existence during this existence. You may wonder, nevertheless, what the game is. Any game, after all, has players, winners, and losers. Life can reflect these traits in numerous ways. There are expectations to meet, objectives to accomplish, successes to be cherished, and defeats to bear. Furthermore, you do not enter the game fully informed. Accepting the path will make it joyful. When losses and disappointments hit you hard, how can you enjoy this game called life? You never enjoy playing an easy or predictable game. Well, that's similar to this, because the game is both rewarding and tough. You like to play it. Your life will be so much more joyful and pleasurable once you comprehend this. You are capable of becoming and doing anything you have always desired. You're the only one in control of your life. This is your game. Your world is something that you have created. Yes, there are other players in this game called life, but each player has their own objectives. Assume that we are all participating in a single, large-scale game that we are all playing separately. We can all create our own games and play them however we like. You are the only one in control of yourself. You are the captain of your own ship. Your game will change on the outside as well if you can alter what's going on within. The rules of the game are the laws of the universe. That's just how it was designed. They just are. They never go wrong and they never support or oppose you. However, you can make use of these laws as a player and the designer of your game. They are instruments with which we build all worlds. Recognize the strength within. You are a part of the creation of all that exists and you are here on earth to play with your energy and creative force. We are not simply regular humans wandering around. This game was designed with you in mind, so feel free to create whatever you desire. It was created specifically for you. This gives you a fresh perspective to interpret your events. Consider that each decision you make in this game represents a move. Every obstacle you encounter is a hurdle to overcome. Every axtapak is a teaching moment. Every accolishment is a treasure to behold and every aspiration is a mission to fulfill. The game of life as a metaphor has the ability to change your perspective from one of victim to player. You start to view life's obstacles as opportunities to grow rather than as things to overcome. You come to see that you are not just bystanders, but rather active participants with the ability to plan, choose, develop, and ultimately succeed. This is a freeing revelation that bestows mastery, empowerment, and resilience in the end. There are rules for every game, and the game of life is no different. According to a quote by George Bernard Shaw, life isn't about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. The game of life is this. You have to construct yourself. You are not the victim of life. Life is what happens to you. Your identity is shaped by every decision you make, everything you do, 
and your response. It shapes who you present to the outside world. You have complete control over how you want your life to turn out. The second guideline is to be resilient and firm. According to Nelson Mandela, the greatest glory in living lies not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. You will encounter obstacles, detours, and pitfalls throughout life. However, each setback you have gives you an opportunity to rise above it, get stronger, and go one step closer to winning this game called life. The final rule concerns connectivity. Though every one of us is a participant in our own game, there are connections between us that we may not always be aware of. Understanding people and feeling like we're all in this together improves when we acknowledge this. What then are the game of life strategies? Learning is the first tactic then. Life is like any game. You have to learn from everything, from your mistakes to other people's faults to your accomplishments. Acquiring knowledge provides you with the means to successfully traverse the game. Next, keep in mind that perseverance and patience are essential. We frequently lose sight of the road because we are too focused on the end result. Ralph Waldo Emerson once said, Life is a journey, not a destination. Therefore, embrace every moment and every stage of your trip. It is imperative that you persevere, take chances. In the game of life, winning doesn't always equate to obtaining wealth or social acceptance. It's more about achieving fulfillment contentment and happiness. A life well lived, one filled with learning and in love, is the real prize. You must play this unending game till you run out of breath. It's acceptable if you don't succeed. It's possible that you won't succeed, and that's also acceptable because failure is a necessary component of success. The secret is to persevere and never give up on the game. And keep in mind that you never really lose in this game because every failure is merely a prelude to victory and every end is just a fresh start. The game of life is the best game you've ever played. So give it everything you've got. That you're sticking around until the very end makes me very happy. As you play the game of life, I hope you take something away from today and wish you all the amazing things in life. I would be delighted to read your opinions and comments so please feel free to share them. May you always feel the love of God. Thank you.